What is up guys, my name of course is Carlo and welcome yet to another video and the first part of our creating a cartoon uh, world in After Effects which is cool. So bear with me as you can see it's 8.40 in the morning. I have been up for long but um, yeah I just wanted to get this tutorial sorted for you guys. So we're going to import some assets first. Um, actually let's create a new composition that would help. Um, let's make this composition for our first scene about 40 seconds long uh, which is okay press okay um, let's just go out of that and then we're going to import our assets now the assets we're going to import I am going to provide a uh, link in the description where you can download this pack that I've created especially for you guys so let's go to desktop and here is our asset pack which has got some animations um, so if we look here got some leaves got a fox got a raccoon animation all ready for you to play around with in your scene um, we've also got some assets which I've provided for you so we've got some backgrounds um, got some grass so on and so on which is cool um, also got some reference images um, this was based on the raccoon um, this one here so um, this is a good little reference but when it comes to animating the characters um, uh, we're gonna I'm gonna do sort of like an in-depth look on that um, in part two um, which is uh, cool right so let's first import our, um, our animations so I'm only gonna import um, one for the time being um, uh, let's go to our animations I've got Miss, Mr. Fox here which is a green screen composite as you can see is a PNG sequence so I'm literally going to make sure PNG sequence is selected and click OK um, just so we can bring this animated character into our scene and then I'm going to go back to import file and I'm going to go back to my folder um, and I'm just going to bring in these assets here um, this should be enough to create a, a, a little scene and uh, give you a rough idea on how to sort of bring a world to life okay so first of all let's bring our background in um, let's make that a 3d layer um, and let's um, hold shift and push that back in uh, the space oh wrong way let's just push that back into the space hit s on the oh sorry about that guys i just said it early <laughs> let's push that back to about there um, with our background selected let's hit S on the keyboard and just scale that back up it's going to give us a bit more depth um, to our scene now I'm just going to bring that to half res um, I forgot to add um, your uh, bits per, uh, per channel uh, bits um, keep it on about 16 um, if you can um, because we're dealing with pictures mostly um, the higher the bit rate um, obviously the better the quality is going to be okay so let's just start bringing in some assets so i've got my hut here i'm going to bring my hut in so in theory we're creating a, a, a collage um, but the difference with this collage is obviously we're going to bring it to life um, and that's what a cartoon is all about bringing uh, collages to life uh, bear with me guys my shaking is uh, out of control at the moment so let's push that to about there and let's just put that into a, a decent position and make sure it's sort of flush with the ground like so that looks okay and we're just gonna uh, tidy that up in a second now the beauty of creating um, a 2d cartoon with uh, pictures and collages is, is that the amount of stuff you can get on the internet and, and create PNG uh, pictures and what I mean by PNG picture is basically um, just having the asset and and making sure that the background is invisible is, is there's so much you can you can, you can create um, and there's so many um, various options that you can download off the internet regarding PNG um, pictures it's unbelievable so you know your options are limitless with, with what you want to create uh, which is cool um, and also quite important as well at the same time um, it's also good because you can actually create your own uh, PNG files, which I've done here, uh, which is cool. 
um, and you know it's just amazing so I'm gonna bring in my glass uh, put it to about there I want to make sure that all my layers are 3d and this is gonna help with depth I'm just gonna bring that in because I just want that in front of my shed at the moment if you find it it's a bit slow hold down shift and just drag backwards and that will just make it uh, go a little bit quicker S on the keyboard um, and let's scale that down about there it's just about um, you know adding detail um, and and just making sure that you know it sort of comes to life if that makes sense so I need to bring this a little bit down okay we are going to color grade this um, in a second in this tutorial which is cool but you know the idea of this is to basically give you guys the idea of how to bring a 2D uh, set piece or set in essence because this is what this is called, it's called a set um, you know make it sort of look realistic well not realistic cartoony but real at the same time so I'm going to bring in my tall grass and I want that in my foreground about here um, this will be animated in a second uh, which is cool and then I've got an oak tree which I'm just going to bring out here uh, to about there I just want to be able to see the branch there so I can animate the branch and then finally we're going to bring our mr. Fox animation in um, obviously you know remember to make sure that these are all 2d layers um, don't make mr. Fox a 2d layer yet because we still have to uh, green screen him so let's go to effects let's go to keying let's go to key light 1.2 now the way I've set this up with this key is that you should have no problem. You should just key out straight away as you can see. Um, so you don't have to do, uh, play with the screen mat or anything like that. So let's just bring him into so like that there, uh, which is cool. Uh, make him a 3D layer so you can play with him, uh, sort of play around with him uh, later on um, if you wish. So as you can see, we're sort of you know there's a result there. You know we've we've already got sort of like some sort of a 3D. Oh, sorry a 2d cartoon um, already but first of all let's let's do some animation so let's get our tall grass and I want to make this move so I'm gonna use my puppet tool for that I'm gonna click on this little icon here and I'm simply just going, going to um, make one little dot there don't need no more just one and automatically the puppet tool will uh, add a keyframe for you um, so don't play with any of this all you're gonna do is just go one frame and then you're gonna get your dot and you're just gonna move it about there bring it over there come down at an angle don't move it sideways um, so come down down at an angle very gentle um, and basically what you're gonna do guys is you're gonna basically go through the whole cartoon just moving this left and right so you can go through the whole scene uh, moving this left and right like so now as you can see our fox is only this uh, eight seconds long um, but obviously the length of your animation is is, is only goes on how ma how long sorry you make the animation so if your animation only lasts eight seconds um, it only lasts eight seconds if you want it to last 20 seconds you make it last 20 seconds it all depends on how long the scene is um, but the great thing is the backdrop never runs out of scene so work out how long your animation is um, this will come in part two um, so you know how long to make your scene okay so let's just say there let's just, just for heaven's sake just trim it down a bit um, trim all the work area as you can see we're right at the end but our fox is gone because like i just said the animation for the fox um, as you can see if we ran through that now um you know we've got our bush moving slightly but we're going to deal with that in the in the second to make it look a bit more um, believable we've got our fox moving we got this moving and what we're going to do guys is we're going to repeat the process uh, with the animation on the tree but this tree is quite large so I'm going to get make sure my tree is selected I'm going to get my puppet tool and I'm going to put two 
So I'm going to put one here and I'm going to put one up here on this branch here. Um, this will give me a bend option. Um, this one not too bad. Um, I don't really mind. You can you can have two as well as bend option in it if you want. Uh, but it's entirely up to you. So let's go back to our uh, beginning of our timeline. Um, let's just move it that way. Um, and I'm going to stretch it to about three seconds. Um, so this is quite easy to do. So three, or shall I say three, yeah, three seconds. Uh, let's go another three seconds up to six. And I'm only keeping the animation uh, where the fox is at the moment. So let's go to uh, the end of the timeline and put it there. So let me re-trim it so we don't lose our Mr. Fox. Like I've just said, guys, you know, <clears throat> the animation is only as long as your character is. So if we round preview that now and play that back, as you can see, this tree's moving from side to side, which is giving you <coughs> the feeling that there's uh, wind um, in the scene. Very subtle um, at the same time. But, uh, sorry, very effective at the same time. So I'm going to import um, something else which is, uh, go back to the desktop, um, let's go back into assets, animation, and we're gonna go to our leaves. I'm gonna select the first one. Now this is quite a big file, this. There's a lot of leaves in here. And this was created by myself in uh, Trapco in particular. Now, if you want me to come to you with a tutorial on how I did this, uh, just leave a message in the description below and I'll try and get back to you with that tutorial. But I've created a PNG sequence so you don't have to do it. So I'm gonna click open. Um, and automatically it's going to bring our PNG sequence in of our leaves. So I'm simply going to uh, drop that on top, like so. And straight away, as you can see, um, we've got our leaves in the scene. But what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to put the leaves below my oak tree because I want the leaves to blow behind the oak tree. Uh, make that a 3D layer. And then, like I've said with the other character, you can... Um, you know, push that back into Z space and, and literally place the leaves uh, where you want in the scene, which is cool. Uh, so let's round preview that now. And as you can see, straight away, we've got um, a world, or a, a, a 2D character, a cartoon world, shall I say, that already come to life. Um, and we've only been working on this for a few minutes, um, which is incredible. So. It really does just, you know, you can open your mind to this and, and be so creative with it. Um, it's, it's unreal. It's, it's so much fun um, to do um, because the results are always amazing. As long as your PNGs are really good, so on and so on, um, yeah, you should be good. Now, the tall grass, what I want to do is I'm going to right click, I'm going to add a little effect to that, and I'm going to add a, sh uh, a blur to it. So I'm going to add a fast fox blur to this and the reason why I do this is because um, it just I don't know it just adds to it look I've just no let's let's put that to about two uh, with fast box blur fast box blur and it just gives real sense of depth um, when you do things like this so I want to do that and then I'm just I'm, I'm just gonna blow out my um, my tall tree my oak tree but I'm, I'm gonna do it really subtly so I'm gonna go to effects um, blur and sharpen uh, fast box blur and I'm gonna put the tree to about one like so and by doing that it really adds depth to the scene um, it just makes it look so cool so now the background we're gonna do a little something to that which is really cool so I'm going to go to um, effect. I'm going to come down to, if I can find it, stylize, and I'm just going to hit play. Okay. As you can see now, we've got a beautiful sun ray um, beaming down. You can see the lines here. Um, it's beaming down, and it just gives an element of, of, of sunshine. But I'm going to punch up the, the threshold to about 70, um, because I don't want it to be uh, too dramatic. Um, actually, let's, let's pump that up to about 80, uh, which is cool. And, yeah, as you can see, it's given a nice little, down here, uh, some reflection on the floor, which really does add to it. 
and it really brings the um, the life of the of the animation or the of the of the scene we're creating to life. So if we play that back now, um, you can even animate this if you want um, the the glow, uh, which is cool. So let's play this back now. As you can see, we've got the leaves blowing. We've got this little bush moving very subtly. We've got a tree moving. Um, and it's really starting to come to life. It really is starting to look pretty awesome, as you can see. Um, you can duplicate most of these layers if you want. So if, if you do like the tall grass, for instance, um, you can duplicate that and, and place that somewhere else. So if we uh, uh, command D that, um, the animation um, that we've created uh, for this grass is set in the copy. So I can now bring this here. And I can uh, place this in the background if I want by holding shift. Um, like so. Oh, gone too, too much there. And let's hit S on the keyboard, guys. And let's scale that down. And I can, I can place this wherever I want in the scene. Oh, not that bit. That's me leaves. I don't want to touch that. Um, sorry, guys. Um, let's go to my tall grass. Um, and let's move this down to about here. And this will still move, uh, which is great. Um, it's a bit high up, though. Um, this will still move. But the, the great thing is um, the animation has carried over from this to this. Brilliant. So that that will move down there in the background um, as well, and you can even do the same thing um, with the oak tree. Oh, what do I mean by that? Okay. So if I get my oak tree now, um, and I'm going to command D that oak tree. Okay. So we've duplicated it. So now we've got two oak trees, and I'm just going to bring this over, and I'm going to push this oak tree back in D space. Do excuse me because I'm working currently on my MacBook Pro, and it's um, this is quite a quite heavy composite. Oh, I just want it behind. Oh, um, sorry about that, guys. My shaker was really bad today. I'm just going to put it there. Oh shit. Let's open it up from here. Sorry, as you guys know, I shake quite a bit, so sometimes doing figgy things, um, um, it does it does bother me and it does um, affect me. So I do um, apologise about that. So let's go up just until we get behind that shed. It's about fiddling. Okay, so now that tree, sorry that took so long guys, is just behind our shed there. Okay, now there is a an amazing plugin called Color Vibrance, which is free um, from Video Copilot. Uh, which, while I'm, when I'm doing things like this, I, um, I use that to color. So if I go to Effect, Video Copilot, Color Vibrance, look what happens. Automatically the colors change. On the tree what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select one of my leaves here now the reason why I do this is because if you look at the color of these leaves they're like a red aren't they so if there's no red trees about where's this where's where's it coming from um, so um, I hope that makes sense <laughs> um, so let's open up the the tree we've just uh, uh, created open up the effects um, the color vibrance is all there that's all good um, what we've done in 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 essence is I'm going to uh, turn the blur off on this one. Um, so I'm going to get this 
uh, box blur here and I'm going to get rid of it so it's, it's, it's more sharper now we've we've created a little bit of animation here because like I've just said the animation from this tree um, has carried over into the second part of the animation and as you can see this is moving as well like so um, and it just really does add to it as you can see now you can in essence play around with animation of this so it doesn't match this one if you want um, that's entirely up to you but what I'm going to do is I am going to um, duplicate command D again but I'm going to duplicate my leaves It's all about finessing, guys. It's all about finessing. I'm quite looking forward to doing actually part two of the characters and stuff. I think that's going to be awesome. Uh, put that to about there. Okay, that should be good. Yeah, that should be good. So let's just round preview that now. We're on half res and see where we're at. Yeah, it's looking really, really nice. Really nice. And then you can create what characters you want. You know, you know, try and make a story. You know, what's going on here? You know, you, you, each scene you're doing, you, you, you're, you're telling a story. So um, always remember that. So obviously it's in the middle of the woods. It's obviously just the start of spring. The leaves are falling. Um, the fox is there and he's, he's just, you know, chilling out. Or is he hunting something? What's he doing? Um, yeah, so always remember every team you do, um, you're actually uh, telling a story, uh, which is quite important. So that's it for part one, guys. I hope you found this helpful um, and found some sort of tips and tricks that might keep, may help you out. Um, like I've just said, the options are limitless on what you want to do with this. Me, personally, I, I would like to change the color of the shed, and you can do that with... Uh, VC color vibrance as well as you can see there um, and you can just open up your color picker and and just you know options are limitless really it's, it's really good fun um, um, being creative so if you if you're doing like a really sort of punchy um, vibrant sort of cartoon I mean that sort of brown shed if you do like a really sort of vibrant um, punchy cartoon you can change the colors um, and just yeah, your options are limitless. So, um, as always, guys, thanks for watching. If you have enjoyed this video, smash that like button. Um, all these files are going to be available in the media file link in the description below, including this project file here, um, so you can get started straight away. Um, and I look forward to seeing you next week in part two, where we're going to be working on, um, or going to be taking you through the process of um, animating um, a character or 2D character in essence uh, for your scene. So as always guys, thanks for watching and I'll definitely catch you in the next video. Ciao, ciao.